OK, for more background, it is not only uh, Friday's uh, mass shooting in Munich, but also last night's suicide bombing in Ansbach. I'm joined now by Dr Jens Hoffmann. He is a criminal psychologist who joins us from uh, Darmstadt uh, in Germany. Dr Hoffmann, uh, welcome to the programme. Do you see any similarities between these two uh, attacks, between Munich and Ansbach? Yeah. Both are isolated, uh, destabilized individuals, at least destabilized. And what we see that such offenders very often have a combination of a personal crisis or mental illness or something like that. And then they have something what we call a cultural script. Cultural script is, for example, a shooting, as we see in Munich all this uh, the shooter there was referring to school shootings before in Germany. And now we also have the cultural script of the lone terroristic um, activist who strikes the society. And that's very powerful, the combination of destabilization, being someone committing such an act of violence. OK, well, let, let's pick up on that word destabilization. Um, uh, the, uh, what we're hearing is that, you know, several of these attackers are suffering from depression. But depression on its own, as far as I know, is not the critical factor. I mean, as far as I know, people who suffer from depression are actually less violent uh, than those uh, who, who don't suffer from depression. So, so what are the, the factors that make these individuals... Um, unstable to such a point that they commit attacks of these kinds. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Depression is not the cause for such an attack. That's very important to say. Um, but what we see that if you, for example, have a deep depression or a deep crisis, you don't see alternatives how to deal with your life in a positive way. Though that's one factor. Don't have a future perspective from your own uh, point of view. The other one is having the feeling that if you commit such an attack, you're doing something which is special and which is important. The terroristic script is you have a fight against the Western society who wants to attack the Muslim world. And the school shooter script is that the youth um, are the victim of our system, of our school system, that you're, and you have to take some sort of revenge or make some sort of uprise uh, to make sure that things will change. So these are the two aspects we see. And very often the third one is the feeling of revenge to show the world world that you're someone and committing such an act works actually we are speaking about those two young men who are now in the attention of international news okay indeed and, and since you're talking about journalism and news uh, how should we journalists deal with these attacks should we give them less coverage I think, of course, the coverage of such incidents is very important. But what we should avoid is to personalize those offenders. I mean, it's very important not to uh, tell their, give the, their whole name and not to show their faces, uh, but to, to change the picture that you don't see the individualized face. That's a very, very important aspect. And don't speculate too much about the motivation, uh, about the background of the offender. Make it clear news, focusing more on the victims, um, making rather small um, interpretation of the background of the offender. And that is very helpful to stop the copycat effect that we see in such events. We know that strategy works very well from suicide. So we've seen in the last uh, decade, there's much less news coverage in suicide and the suicide rates drop. So that's a very powerful um, mechanism that we see in the media. Okay, Dr. Jens Hoffmann uh, in Darmstadt, a criminal psychologist. Thank you very, very much for all that background.